I call it owning your story, basically. When you own it, you're not ashamed to talk about it like you're doing now, like I'm doing. So that owning part of it, did it take a lot of time for you for, for this particular example to, to happen? Yeah, I really like that, owning your story. Um, I like it because I think I spent a lot of time. I mean, I'm human, so I screw up. Um, I think the hardest part is being, is believing the stories that you make up mostly about yourself. So you, you tell yourself that you're a failure, that you're not supposed to be a business owner, that you should just go get a job, that you're an imposter and you believe it. And then on top of it, you go out and create things so that to prove that you're right, that you are a failure, right? So mm -hmm you focus on the sales call that didn't go well, or you bring that energy into the sales call so that you can have a shitty sales call and then lose it and say, see, you're right. You were right all along. You should just go get a job. You're not fit for this. So you're validating just, yourself all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's just a story. And then what I do with my stories is I tell myself that I'm not good enough and then as I beat myself up, I then go in and turn that against everybody that I'm surrounded by. So in order to feel better, I'll dominate other people. I'll be right and, and prove that they're wrong. And all that I'm doing is really like fracturing relationships. 